Please note, safety goggles, hearing protection. Now we get to cut the channel and I will do that by putting this onto the jig here and turning it the same way I did when it was flat. The blade is angled at 15 degrees and I'll do it just like I did before. I'll set the work over the blade and raise the blade into it just a little bit each time and turn it all around until the cut is made. Now because at an angle the blade kind of sticks up a little bit um, I've put a couple of washers there for the work to sit on and to mark where the hole needs to be put that in there and there I don't know if you can see it but right there is where I'll drill the hole. So as you can see I've got my pulley here and I've got the blade set so it's just barely not touching um, the workpiece. I'll turn the turn the pulley all the way around then I'll raise the blade a little bit turn it around again then I'll raise the blade a little bit more and keep doing that until I reach the depth that I want. Then I'll take the pulley off, flip it around, and do the other side. So I'll start the saw. It's not at this moment touching the work. As soon as the saw is going, I'll start raising the blade. Okay, so the, the first side is, is completely cut. The groove is about half an inch deep, which is, uh, which is about where I wanted it. So now I'll flip the pulley around. I've already lowered the blade. So I'll flip that pulley around and start cutting the other side.
Alright, so I think I've got the pulley done here. The lip is about as thick as I want it, and it's about as deep as I want. The belting that I'm using is quarter inch leather belting for a treadle sewing machine. And it fits right in there. Nice. There's very little slop in there, which for my purposes is just fine. 